Welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all the support, all of the comments, everything, the shares, the comments on Instagram. Thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate every one of you. If you're finding yourself on this channel for the first time, welcome. We are a space of inclusivity, light, and love. Um, if that is what you're into, I do daily pick a cards Monday through Friday here. I do messages for soulmates and separation on Sundays. Um, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, if that's what you're into, pull up a chair, grab yourself a cup of tea, and we'll have a chat. Today's Pick a Card is a request, requested video, um, as are most of the videos this week. Um, so if you have a request, please leave that in the comment section below. But today's video is about how they're acting versus how they actually feel. So how are they presenting themselves to you versus how they're actually feeling about you? We have three piles in front of you. We have pile one here with the pretty red geranium pink geranium with the butterfly spirit. We have pile two with the gazelle and the petunia. And we have pile three with these little white clusters. I'm not sure what they are, so if you know, and the um, horse spirit. So if you don't, if you already know which pile is calling out to you, the timestamps as always will be listed below. Um, if you need a moment, just pause the video and sink into your body and don't overthink it. Just whatever pile is calling out to you or piles, you can choose multiple piles, of course. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start with group number one. Again, today's topic is, are we, <laughs> sorry, my cat distracted me. How are they feeling versus how they are? are actually acting towards you. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and start with group number one. Whoops. Hi everybody in group one who chose the butterfly spirit and this dark pink geranium. This is your reading on how are they acting towards you versus how are they truly feeling? How, what are their true feelings versus their actions towards you? So we will be using two different piles to get the message through today. Um, but we're going to start with this butterfly spirit. The butterfly spirit, obviously, you could be dealing with an air sign, you know, being asked to look at things from a higher perspective, but it's really about transformation as well. You could be going through um, a real transformation right now. This person, this connection could be going through a transformation. You guys could be moving from a friendship to a more um, romantic partnership. This doesn't even have to be a love reading, but it, I will be pulling love messages today. But um, <clears throat> this relationship could be moving from you know, into a business relationship. There could be many possibilities, but the butterfly spirit is about transformation. It's about becoming what you're meant to be, be to become through hard work, dedication. So let's look first at how they are treating you. <clears throat> how are they acting towards you? So we have the Hierophant. They could be um, somebody who works in government. They could be a teacher. Um, somebody really, again, really focused on growth and climbing the ladder. With the Queen of Pentacles. So someone, um, Earth energy, someone very grounded. Um, there's a lot of security with the Queen of Pentacles. There's a feeling of abundance with this Queen of Pentacles. So this person could be... Um, acting very uh, generous with you, or they could just be someone that is um, really portraying themselves as someone dedicated to climbing the ladder of success. <clears throat> we have the 10 of cups here, which is a beautiful card to get. This is how they are treating you currently. Um, the, the 10 of cups is about happiness. You could be on the way to marrying this person. Maybe they're just treating you like the queen that you deserve to be. They um, hope for a future with you. They hope to have children. They hope to build a, a solid foundation with you. <sighs> so it looks like the way that they're acting towards you is pretty sweet so far. <clears throat> we have three cards that fell out here. We have the two of pentacles we have the eight of pentacles and we have the six of cups so this really feels like somebody that is um sort of in a friendship situation with you or someone from your past that um like a young love like an innocent first love somebody who's willing to put the work in i feel like this person maybe is juggling a lot of things right now they could be juggling work and school 
Um, but it's all in preparation for what they hope to achieve with you, which is this happiness, this happy ending with like the love of their life. It feels like kind of like a um, high school sweetheart sort of situation. Somebody who's really kind of digging in and putting some work in, but juggling a lot of things as well. On the back of the deck, we do have the five of cups though. So there is a little bit of sadness and regret here surrounding this whole situation. Maybe this person never ever stepped out and told you their feelings and now they're really working towards themselves in order to put this work in to um, <clears throat> hopefully end up in this, in this beautiful spot of the Ten of Cups with you. This feels like a soulmate situation with the Six of Cups as well. Just a really innocent love, like an, a nostalgic type of love. We're going to look at their true, true feelings. So this is how they're, they're, this is how they were treating you. This is how they're reflecting themselves in real life. And now we're going to look at, you know, what are their true feelings towards you? How are they feeling towards you? So this is their hopes and expectations, I too, I feel. You know, they really want that Ten of Cups with you. I feel like they're working hard towards um, a relationship or working towards getting to a relationship with you at this moment. We have the Page of Wands. So somebody very creative, somebody that maybe doesn't feel like they have, like they're very passionate people. They have a lot of great ideas. They could be a fire sign or have fire in their chart. But the page really comes in with news and they really come in with a creative new ideas and new offers. So I feel like your person, you know, their true feelings, they have a lot of passion for you. On the back of the deck, we have the Empress. So they truly do look at you like the queen. I feel like this person's a pretty... Um, <clears throat> It's like they're wearing their emotions on their sleeves. Like they're making it very clear to you, I think, some of you, that they really want to um, have this future with you. We have the Three of Cups. You know, the Three of Cups is about going out with friends. You could have met this person in a friendship situation. Again, this Six of Cups really speaks to me about young love, innocent love that sort of starts as friendship as children and then grows. So you could have met this person in a friendship situation or out um, in a social situation. We have the Seven of Swords, so sneaky, sneaky behavior here. Um, somebody is, is being sneaky, somebody's wearing a mask. They're not really truly, perhaps, coming forward with how they truly feel. Judgment and the Hermit. Oh. We also have the Four of Pentacles, and then we have the Chariot in the reverse that popped out as well. On the back of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. <clears throat> so how are they truly feeling about you? Um, I feel like they're really hoping for a resurrection. Um, I, this could be a situation where you haven't seen this person in a really long time with all of those pentacles lined up, um, but they're still holding a flame for you. They could be juggling you know, their feelings or um, everything that's happening in, happening in life right now as they're trying to build this ladder. Um, Sometimes also the hair fent with this two of pentacles speaks to me about somebody who's married and juggling two people. Um, so this could be the situation for some of you. That message may not resonate with all of you, um, but that may re might resonate with one of you. Um, somebody who is married, juggling two people, but truly like putting in the work necessary. Someone from your past that maybe you've sparked things up again. I pass no judgment in any situations that come up in these cards. Um, but how they're truly feeling about you is the desire for this resurrection, the desire to come forward with news for you. Um, and they're kind of stuck in this hermit mode here. Now that I see the hermit underneath this three of cups, it really makes me think of them being kind of trapped in a situation with a third party, um, having to wear a mask and be sneaky and feeling really possessive of this connection. We have the chariot in the reverse. Somebody is stuck in a decision mode. Once they make that decision, they will make it. But in the reverse, it really shows stagnancy. It shows somebody feeling stuck in their current situation. Um, so how they're acting towards you, you may even be in contact with this person perhaps, and they're treating you really, really great. And they're dreaming about a future with you. Um, that's really what they kind of hope for. But in truth, their real situation is that they're kind of stuck. Their feelings for you are one of, you know, greediness and possessiveness. They really want to have you. They really want this with you. But I feel like for some of you, this person may be stuck um, 
in an unhappy situation. On the back of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. So their feelings towards you, you represent security. <clears throat> you know, there's abundance when it comes to you. If you're asking about a, you know, <clears throat> they see you as an authority figure. They see you, you know, somebody who they can turn to when they need help. <clears throat> I feel like, you know, the butterfly in this reading is really um, speaking about the transformation required for all of this to come together. You know, their, their situation here is kind of, that could be where this, you know, five of cups came from you know, on the back of the deck, the whole sort of reading. They have so many strong, loving feelings for you and great intentions towards you, but they're sort of stuck right now in a period of loss. They're working on themselves and they're working on their current situation, but right now they're feeling kind of trapped. Um, on the back of the deck, we have the devil, feeling stuck, feeling trapped. <clears throat> Let me get some angel messages for you. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So I feel like this is strongly sort of um, wrapped up in their current situation. Like they're treating you really great and they really want a future with you because you're, you know, their soulmate. They really feel that. Um, and maybe they could be like even like shower showering you with presents or something. But um, pay attention to the red flags. They're not really in a great place right now to be offering up much love. But you do deserve love and you are lovable. I feel like it's maybe playing upon your self-esteem to feel like you're being juggled. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Your person could have a family already and be kind of stuck in that situation or in the situation of a family life with someone else. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And there is a lot of attraction here. So there's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of romantic feelings happening. There's a lot of nostalgic, loving type of feelings. Um, but this person, you know, I feel like they're, they're tr showing you their true colors with their feelings. I feel like there really is strong emotion for you. But they are acting sneaky and, oops, sorry. They are acting sneaky in their lives. They are wearing masks when it comes to this connection because they can't be honest right now. What do they want you to know? Group one. I miss you. So if there's a period of separation here with all of those pentacles and they are in regret hurting you. I'm watching you from the outside. And I'm sick over this. They miss your touch. And they worry that you have moved on from this connection. They also want to say that they, um, they didn't realize that they loved you until it was too late. You make my heart sore. So when I saw that Empress at the back of the deck earlier, like they, you truly, but they are losing hope that they can ever come together with you the way that they hope to. Let's get some charms for you guys. Oh, so many runes today. So we do have um, this chain, which is interesting because I believe we had the devil on the back of this deck. So... You know, they are feeling really, really trapped right now in their current situation. Um, they have very strong feelings for you. This is a soulmate connection, I feel, for some of you. Um, but they just can't break free right now from their current situation. We have the letter U. We have this sort of, it could be an I or an L, I suppose, but it's just kind of a spacer. Um, what else? Any other letters? Nope. So we have this shell that really reminds me of the high priestess. I'm not sure why. I just get that sense. And, you know, the high priestess, like this shell, you can't really see into the depths of her. She holds on to secrets. I feel like this person is holding on to secrets. 
I feel like they're you're kind of the secret in their life that they're feeling this strongly towards you. Um, this could be a childhood connection because of this silver spoon, you know, somebody you grew up with. We also have the Bible here. So there could be a religious component to this connection. <clears throat> we have this engagement ring charm. Uh, your person, as I said before, somebody could be already married in a, in a family situation where this children's card came up in this Ten of Cups, or they, they really desire that with you. They really desire to build a foundation with you, but I feel like they're trapped in a different situation or stuck, or they've put themselves really in this situation. I say trapped, but these people really do put themselves in these situations, don't they? Um, <clears throat> there could be, as I said, there could be a Catholic connection here with that Bible and uh, this rose always makes me think of St. Teresa. You could see roses around, um, just symbols, little messages from heaven coming down. Building the foundation, this love, it's like building up blocks of, of letters. Building up a foundation is really what they would like to do with you. But again, they're feeling kind of trapped in their situation. We have this ring that says forever. And this ring pops up when I feel like it's a really strong soulmate connection. Um, soulmate connections are, are not always, you know, cut and dry and easy to deal with and um, our soulmates don't always make the right choices, um, but it doesn't mean that we haven't spent lifetimes with this person and that we aren't connected on a deep level just because they disappoint us. Uh, we have uh, a dime here. So the 10th of the month could be significant to you or um, the 10th month, which is that October? September? No, I think October, isn't it? Um, it could be significant to you and it's 2009 is the date on there. What else? My little Chewbacca, the little Chewbacca, which <clears throat> with R2-D2 on his back, which really makes me think of somebody who has a really narrowed interest, somebody a little bit nerdy maybe. Um, again, that's not a put down. I always feel bad when I say that, but I consider myself a complete nerd. So um, somebody who has a, a really narrowed interest like cosplay or League of Legends or Dungeons and Dragons or Star Wars, something like that. Somebody that has a very, maybe they play a lot of video games. What else is here? We have the blank rune, the rune of possibilities. And I feel like that rune shows up when we're reminded that, you know, we do choose all of the courses of action in our life. You know, the possibilities are kind of endless to us because we make our future with our thoughts and our actions. So that's important to point out. We'll get through some of these runes here. So this here, the rune of strength and willpower. So I feel like it's taking this person a lot of willpower not to... Um, come forward. I also feel like it's taking a lot of willpower to be so sneaky, <laughs> uh, perhaps. Mm. The rune of wisdom and advice. Suggesting that now is a good time to heed the counsel of others. So if you have people in your life that are making, giving you warnings, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. This might not be a good time to pursue this for some of you, but again, no judgment here. The rune of disruption, it's, it's kind of like the tower rune to me. Um, I feel like uh, pursuing this connection would really cause a huge tower moment in both of your lives, really. Um, but if there is a family here that's established, it would definitely cause a huge disrupt in that situation. The rune of wholeness, good health, self-knowledge, and triumph in general. Like your person doesn't want to give up hope. I really don't feel like they're ready to, you know, give up the hope that, that this could turn into something, that they could actually have this Ten of Cups with you, that they could build that foundation because they do have such strong feelings with this Six of Cups and that Ten of Cups. You know, you really truly are someone that they care about. Um, this last one is the Rune of Breakthrough, Increase and in Security. Um, it, it reminds us that the light of the world shines brightly upon us. You know, it can, you can come overcome negativity. It's a very powerful rune. Um, and it's just, you know, talks about overcoming the forces against you. Again, we are all manifestors. We create our own situations. And, you know, this person has put themselves perhaps in a situation that um, makes them unhappy now, but they are the only ones that can, can act in, in, that can act to change things. Okay, group one, if this resonated with you, this is how your person um, is treating you versus how they truly feel about you. Um, so if this resonated with you, if 
please leave me a comment in the comment section. If you're interested in a mini reading from me, a free one, you can enter to win one over on my Instagram page. I will be announcing the winners for this month's draw on Wednesday. So you still have time to enter that as well. Just head to Instagram for that. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell in case I post any videos that you have requested. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to group number two, but I do hope to see you again at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, guys. Hi, everybody in group two who chose the gazelle spirit and this little pink petunia. This is your reading on how are they treating you versus how do they actually feel about you, their actions versus their truth feelings towards you. You guys were drawn to the gazelle spirit. I feel like if this is a no contact situation um, for some of you, uh, I feel like your person is still very highly aware of you. Um, I feel like <laughs> it sounds so strange, but I feel like when this person exits your life, they do it gracefully. It's like they're, it's beautiful to see them come. It's beautiful to see them. It's just a graceful animal. And I feel like they, they do are graceful under pressure. And that could be a trait that your person has. But how is your person treating you? How are they acting towards you? So that's what the question we're going to start with with this deck, with the Shadowscapes Tarot deck today. How are they, you know, acting towards you versus their feelings? So we're going to look at their actions first. You have the Five of Swords to start out. Conflict and arguments and hostility, a little bit of sneakiness and dishonesty with that Five of Swords, perhaps. So this is how they are currently treating you or how they're acting. So there could be a lot of arguments. The Ace of Cups. They could have recently come back into your life um, or this could be somebody new in your life, a new relationship but there's already been disrupt queen of pentacles. So the queen of pentacles is really, um, it's an earth bound spirit. You know, she's very, um, it's earth energy. She is abundant. She is secure as well. So this person could have swooped in into your life, maybe under the guise of sneaky behavior perhaps and offered this new love offer to you. Um, um, they could be acting very generous towards you right now. How are they acting? I don't like that the five of swords is starting this out <laughs> with how they are acting. So we're going to get some clarity on that card. How are they acting towards you? It talks about sneaky behavior and conflict. But the Ace of Cups shows me that they're offering you love and they're offering you stability. But it's it starts with sneakiness and I don't like that. So how are they acting towards you? The Strength card. It's interesting. How are they acting towards you in this connection? The strength card is about drawing upon your inner strength and taming those lions within you, taming the self-esteem issues you may have, um, taming the inner voices that tell you you're not good enough. So we have the lovers. Interesting. We have the three of swords. This is interesting. <clears throat> okay. So how are they acting towards you? Um, so I do feel like your person is in the midst of making a choice. The lovers is definitely a choice card. Um, <clears throat> the lovers is really talking about, you know, the choice. And when it's followed up here by the three of swords, you know, it, this could talk about a breakup. So I feel like perhaps the per you're in the midst of a breakup with this person. And it's very heartbreaking. There could have been um, some sneakiness in the behavior. So, you know, your person is, is is upset and heartbroken over perhaps a breakup that they're needing now to have a lot of strength to get through. On the back of the deck, I have the two of swords. So that really speaks to me about this, again, this choice that they had to make, the three of cups, choice between two people, a third party situation. I'm just going to get clarity How 
are they acting towards you? T Whoops. <laughs> so they're definitely feeling stuck and they're feeling, um, they would like to come charging in um, to offer you a romantic gesture, um, but the night in reverse, <clears throat> it's like a chaotic person. It's like the chaos and it's like um, impulsivity. They just come rushing in and it's, it's dramatic and there's no follow through and they, they have nothing to offer right now is how I feel. They feel like they have nothing to offer. I feel like this person is currently going through a breakup and um, they're maybe trying to make it seem like they have it all together and that they're really strong and that they're secure. But the truth is, is that they're heartbroken over this. Um, this eight of swords, it's like a self, it's like a self-inflicted imprisonment. And in the reverse, it's like they're ready to come out of it. They have hope. They haven't, they haven't given up hope because they're hoping for balance. They're hoping to restore balance to this connection, perhaps. Let's look at their true feelings towards you. What are their true feelings? So somebody's made a choice here or someone's making a wrong choice. It's ended in breakup, I feel. You, how are they truly feeling about you, though? It's like this person's impulsive and they make impulsive decisions that lead to bad choices how are they truly feeling about you you have the world so you are the world to them they really want closure in this situation they're really hoping for, for um, a new beginning and success with you We have the, the Ace of Cups again. So they would really like a new start. We also have the Knight of Swords. They, they want to come charging in. They could be very impulsive. Um, they could be an air sign. It's somebody who just really likes to get to the truth of the matter. Um, but they do hope to start a new romance with you. On the back of the deck, I saw the Five of Cups. A lot of remorse. How do they truly feel? They want a fresh new emotional start. They want to come up with a creative new way. They have a lot of passion towards you. Um, and they do feel like, you know, the justice card, <clears throat> they want to be honest with you. They want things to be fair and they feel like only being with you will make things fair perhaps. You know, they just, they want to bring forth honesty. And that's really what this whole spread is really looking like to me. You know, slicing through all the mistruths, all the lies that they've told in the past. I feel like they really have this desire to clear the air and be honest with you so that they can build a brand new foundation with you. It's like they want to turn over a new leaf. We have the nine of swords. So they are definitely feeling... They're having nightmares and anxiety. They also have the nine of wands on the back of the deck. You know, it's becoming a burden. They're having anxiety and depression over this situation, over the desire to be honest with you. I feel like their actions, like right now, you could be currently in a breakup or they could be moving on with another person. Um, and it may even appear like they're secure and that they're happy in this new love. But the truth is that their true feelings for you is that they really want to start fresh with you and tell you the truth about everything. And it's like they're trying to come up with a creative new way of doing it with this page. Like he's very creative and they know that they need to approach you creative in a creative way or else you're go you could reject them. We have the nine of wands here. That just speaks about the burden that they're really feeling, the passionate burden that they feel towards you. You are a passion for them. You know, you are the world to them. And I feel like it's really been this discovery the King of Swords is, is, you know, he gets the job done. And that's what they really want with you. But they realize you have choices. They realize, and this could be an illusion, and it could be um, a fantasy for them, I feel. They feel like this could be a fantasy because they know you have choices. They know that, you know, 
how they acted in the past, this choice that they made in the past was probably impulsive and sneaky and caused a lot of arguments. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Some of you aren't going to want to hear that, I'm sure. <laughs> Again, free will. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I sometimes get comments from people um, asking me, you know, how should I approach them? How should, that is completely 100% up to you. <laughs> um, I don't give advice on how people should approach other people. I lay the cards out and tell you what they say. That's what I do. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life right now. Again, I don't feel like you guys, this one wants to come out. This could be the one. I don't feel like some of you want to hear that. Okay. What would your person say to you if they could? It's complicated right now. And is it too late to apologize to you for the choices made in the past, for the conflicts, the dishonesty, um, the, the fighting. They're worried that this feeling they have for you is all in their head. And they feel like you guys were meant to be together with that world card as well. They just feel like it's destiny. You are the one for me. Because I could lose myself in your eyes. Whoops. I wish that I had fought harder for us and I feel ready to act and you know the knight of swords really does come charging in so I would not be surprised if some of you actually heard from this person um, the knight of swords charges in and he sort of he doesn't have a lot of forethought about what he's going to say when he gets there but he charges in to just cut through all the mistruths so I feel like some of you may hear from this person just so that you guys could clear the air but they here and, and yet here to contradict me, I can't make the first move towards you. They could be stuck in a situation with another person. And they're currently working on themselves. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the King of Swords. We have this Queen of Pentacles. They're saying that they've changed. So if they've hurt you in the past, they're t trying to express that they've changed. That they're capable of more. Let's see, we have the letters R and L and T. No other letters. Uh, we have the Leo, sorry, the lion. So your person could be a Leo with wands. So you could be a Leo or have Leo in your chart. Uh, I feel like there are masks being worn. This shell reminds me of the high priestess. You can't see what's in this shell. There are secrets hidden within it. Um, I feel like this is, um, your person is wearing a mask. You are wearing a mask when it comes to this person. There could have been a marriage here that was broke, that broke with this, with this um, three of swords next to this lover's card. Really speaks to me about perhaps a huge breakup or a loss of marriage. Um, someone could have moved on into marriage. There could be a desire as well for marriage here. This definitely feels like there's soulmate situation you know, energy here with this yin yang. We have the pizza pie and the um, the little rolling pin. This person could actually work in food service making pizzas or they just really love to cook or they just really love pizza. <laughs> uh, we have the, oh, we also have another letter here, you guys. Sorry, I missed it. It's a J. JR, so junior. They could, they could contact you in the form of a letter. I don't know if that's going to resonate with anyone. The paper clip, you could have met this person in school or at work. The desire to hold things together as well. Children could be a factor here with these little baby feet. Or there could, you could have had children with this person. Um, and they still have a lot of sexual energy towards you with this um, 
screw. <laughs> we also have the feather. You know, the feather speaks to me about soulmate relationships. It also speaks about the, the call to look at things from a higher perspective and not just from an earthly sort of physical plane. So your guides are really asking you to look at things um, from a higher perspective here. We have this nickel from 2015. So May could be um, a significant month for you. 2015 could be a significant year. What else do we have? The Rune of Man. Um, suggest friendships. You could have met this person in school. This could be a friendship situation. Um, let me check that out. Interdependence as well. It speaks about interdependence. So this could be somebody that you feel um, like you can't escape from. It could be like someone from your past that's really important to you. The ruin of hope and expectation relates especially to expectations of success and contentment. So this person, again, I guess, as I've said, they refuse to give up hope, especially before they can have this conversation with you where they clear the air. They, ha they clear the air because they're having a lot of anxiety. They're having nightmares. They're having sleepless nights. This could be mirrored energy. You could be feeling the same way, you know, not being able to get your head clear of this person or this connection. They have a real desire to come forward and talk with you about everything from the past they just want to hash it out and get some closure as well for both of you i feel okay group two that is your reading on their actions versus their real true feelings um i do feel like this person maybe has moved on into made a bad choice <laughs> and there was a breakup situation here um their true feelings is this desire this really strong desire to clear the air and to come in and apologize to you and offer, you know, the hope is there for this new love. They do have this hope here for this new love. And they feel like that's what's meant to be. That justice card speaks to me about, you know, their desire for truth, their desire for justice. And um, they feel like they need to bring that forward for you. Okay, group two, if that resonated, please leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos that I'm posting. Uh, head over to my Instagram if you're interested in winning a free mini reading with me. You still have time to enter this month's reading. I will be posting um, the winners on Wednesday. So you still have up until Tuesday night at midnight to uh, enter that as well. And that'll be a monthly giveaway. So make sure you keep checking back. I'll be doing giveaways over here on YouTube soon too. So I hope to see you guys again. I'm going to move ahead to the third group. And I hope to see you guys at the Tarot Cottage on another day. Bye, guys. Hi, everybody in group three who chose the horse spirit and this white flower. This is your reading on how are they feeling versus how are they acting towards you. So you guys were drawn to the horse spirit. The horse spirit is all about stamina and strength. Um, <clears throat> I feel like perhaps this connection has standed the test of time. Um, I feel like this could be soulmate situation where you have known this person for a really long time. Um, this horse spirit is very protective of the people that they love. They're also, there's a lot of kindness in them, but there's strength and stamina. So we're going to look at how they, how are they acting towards you? I'm going to be using the Motherscapes Round Tarot for you guys today because I haven't had a chance to play with it lately and I miss it. So how are they acting towards you? We have the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles talks about, you know, building a really strong foundation with someone. A lot of security there. The Chariot. Someone had a choice to make. So this person could be already established in a family situation. And now they are thrust into this choice um, and the thing about the chariot is that um, once they make their choice, they make it and they head there. But they're in this decision making. You see those two animals, one's looking up, one's looking down. Haven't quite made that decision yet. Somebody could be in a family situation. We have the two of pentacles. Yeah, a lot of um, juggling. They could be juggling you and another person. They could be juggling you, your feelings for you, and their drive to um, create a stable life for themselves. So they could be juggling work. And but we have the tower here. So 
So there's a disrupt in this person's life. Three of Wands. Okay, so this definitely feels like a third party situation. It feels like somebody who is already established in a relationship and who is trying to make a decision between two people, between the passion that they feel for you and this stable life. Oh, you guys, this stable life that they already have established with someone else. This card here, the Six of Cups in the reverse. Um, and here we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this feels like somebody who is a steadfast person um, who, you know, they dig in and they kind of are unemotional in their everyday lives. They dig in to get the job done. Um, that's what the, the Knight of Pentacles does. He sort of, he uses his head over his heart and he kind of gets the job done. But this is interesting. The Six of Cups in the reverse position kind of speaks to me sometimes about a situation where it's a nostalgic type of love from the past that never quite got off the ground. <clears throat> or they could be hesitant to move away from this established relationship because it is a relationship that has been established for a really long time. But right now, their actions towards you, I just feel like there's a lot of confusion. I feel like it's really slow moving, slow moving energy as well with this Knight of, of Pentacles. A lot of indecision a lot of juggling, a lot of fear to move towards you because of this tower that's looming over them and this family situation or this established situation that they have. On the back of the deck, we have the hanged man in the reverse position. You know, the hanged man, it's about, you know, it's about surrendering to the universe, but there's also a sense of being really stuck and they've stuck themselves. So that's sort of the actions that their person is portraying juggling indecision and really slow moving energy is what i'm sensing here let's get you another deck to see what their actual feelings are towards you what are their true feelings towards you how are they feeling i see them juggling i see them indecisive they could be an earth sign how do they feel about you So they have desire to come in and communicate with you for sure with this um, Eight of Wands. Speedy communication. They want to come charging in. It's They are frustrated with the uh, amount of time it's taking. The star. They're not losing hope in this connection. And it's like th we also have this Seven of Pentacles. It's like they're waiting to... to Reap the benefits of what they've emotionally sown into this connection. It's interesting we have this Six of Cups in the reverse. It's like someone has been holding you on this pedestal for a really long time and they haven't quite got the chance to reap the benefits of how they feel for you. Um, but they're refusing to give up hope because you're like the shining star. You're like a really beautiful person. You, They want to pour all their love into you. There's just so much hope and faith in that star card. It's like you're their guardian angel. We have the five of wands. This could be a fire sign. They've, there's competition and there's conflict that's stopping them from rushing in. And they are worried that this, um, that the conflict that coming in and communicating with you will be a huge burden to you. The world card. You are the star of their life. You are the world. in the, Like you are their world. You are their star. They desire to have closure with you. They desire success with you. <clears throat> they just want a conclusion to all these feelings they've been feeling. Some sort of conclusion. But there's so much fear holding them back. With that tower over there. I keep looking at the tower. They could come forward and communicate with you. Here's the page of pentacles. You may hear from this person. Um, it may not be the offer of love that you're really hoping for. The page kind of just comes in with news, a little fresh starts, but they, they want to, they have this desire to speak with you and their true feelings for you are this queen of cups energy. They have a lot of love, you know, the love that they have for you. They've put a lid on it. Not, none of it, not even a drop will fall out. They could be a Pisces, um, 
but they have so much love for you with that Queen of Cups on the back of this deck. And they do have a desire to come charging in to cut through any mistruths. If there's been confusion about this connection in the past, also a lot of passion towards you that they want to express. I feel like this person really wants to express to you that they've grown up, that they've changed the Ace of Cups. They want to come in with an emotional new love offer for you. But the fear of the change is holding them back. The fear of the fallout for this already established perhaps connection that they have in their life is really the um, caveat that's holding them back in this connection. We have the tower twice here. Moving forward into this connection really is a terrifying thing for your person and they're worried that it is going to not only cause an uproar in their life and what they've established, they could have had children with um, another partner um, and there, it feels like a really long time that they've been like having these feelings for you. The Knight of, of Pentacles is such a slow moving energy, but it's just the longer the time goes on that they're, that they don't approach you, the more they feel like when they do, it'll cause an even greater tower movement. They have a lot of fear to move forward. So they're trying to be really logical in their moves and in their steps and in their feelings. They're trying to slice through the mistruths, but the truth is they have so much passion and love and they want to start something fresh with you. But they do feel a little bit trapped. Let's get some angel messages for you. Whoops. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond will deepen. So if they come forward with some news, it's going to start out, you know, a little bit innocent and a little bit just kind of fluffy but it's it's going to they have this desire to really pour out the, their emotions to you past life relationship you've known each other before it is safe for you to love open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all <clears throat> trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. I feel like your guides um, are really aware of this situation. If this is a soulmate situation, your guides are really aware of it. Um, and I feel like this won't resonate with everybody, but I do feel like saying that even if this situation doesn't resurrect itself in this lifetime, um, you will have other chances with this person. Whoops. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I do feel like there are some family issues here that need to be healed with that 10 of pentacles but there is still a really big desire to express themselves to you and here we also have the wedding the situation involves marriage so i do feel like somebody one or both of you may be married um but that doesn't stop the true feelings that they have for you they're wearing masks they want to whisk you away we have that moon in the background you know a lot of masks being worn i just lost my deck on the floor but we'll leave it there for now <laughs> Okay, this is interesting. Kind of flew out at me here. They're saying I'm grown up now. So if this is a person from your past that you kind of grew up with, the six of cups that never quite got off the ground, they're letting you know that they're all grown up and that they have everything they need to <laughs> make you happy. They do feel haunted by this connection. They don't quite understand why it's the depth or the strength to which it is when they've attempted to move on into new situations. But they are seeing signs of you wherever they go or if they're reading. You know, they see signs of you all the time. I knew the first moment that I saw you way back then. And I'm still feeling jealous over you. I'm missing you regardless of how things are looking on the inside. I do feel like they're having to really draw upon their inner strength here. And the stamina required for the length of time that they, I feel like they've been in love with you. It's, it's been a really long time. It's required a lot of strength and stamina on their part, but they're also family oriented. As I said, you know, family oriented people, the separation is killing me. Like this person wants to do the right thing. Here we have, again, if it's someone from your past, I am a different person than you remember. They've grown up. You know, it's like that childhood sweetheart that you meet again after years and all of a sudden they... You know, they look great <laughs> and they're all grown up, but they're feeling stuck in their current situation. 
And on the back of the deck we have, I don't want anyone to get hurt. But they do have things they need to say. So let's get some charms for you guys. I'm going to light my sweater on fire. Oh, you got some big ones today. I'll try to dig a little deeper. Okay, let's take a look here. Get some of these big ones out of the way. We have the Olaf. He hasn't popped out in a while. I have the Six of Cups there. Again, this really does feel like an innocent, nostalgic type of love that never quite got off the ground, that probably should have gotten off the ground, but there was a lot of fear holding you back in you know, back in the day. And that's really played upon your person. They've changed, they've grown up, but they've moved on into a new situation that has now causing them the inability to come forward. We have the letters M and E. So Emma could be your name or M. Me, you know, M E. I don't know if those resonate with you guys. The desire to communicate with you, the desire to, you know, get your attention is there. Um, my husband actually spun this for me. It makes me think of December, makes me think of Christmas. So December could be an important month in this connection. This chain also speaks to me about somebody who is tethered to you emotionally, soulmate connections that can't be broken. Um, somebody who just can't get you out of their mind. It's just chain, you're chained to this person. Could also represent being married, you know, the ball and chain of being married as well. I'm going to put this to the side because it's so big it's hard to see the rest of the charms and the bell. But you guys see the bell and you saw the, you saw your little tree here. <clears throat> so we do have the pentacle and we have the page of pentacle here. So, you know, your person could come forward with some news for some of you. I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future um, they came forward with some news. They have a desire to speak to you very strongly. Um, this is from 1977, this penny. So... That could be a significant year for you. Uh, they could play guitar or bass. We have the dime here. Uh, the tenth of the month could mean something to you. The year on this is 2009. There's a sailboat on there, so they could live on the coast. Made with love. This really feels strongly like um, a children are a factor here in this situation. We do have two feathers here, which is a really strong indicator to me that this is a soulmate situation. Um, and it's also really a strong call from spirit for you to look at things from a higher perspective as well. They have the desire to mend things with the button. They have this little palm or a marijuana leaf, if you will. They, that could be something that they partake in. They have a real desire for peace here. And I feel like they kind of have a lot of turmoil when it comes to this connection. They want to bring themselves some inner peace. And we have this little moon and the star you know, it's interesting because we have the star card here and I feel like they have not given up hope. I feel like it, I feel like this is the sort of situation where they will never give up hope on this connection, but we see the moon surrounding that star. So it's a mask that they have to wear. They can't be a hundred percent honest in their life when it comes to you or these, this connection and how strong it actually feels to them. Okay. So now. last little rune there the rune of strength and willpower oh if you can see that strength so the rune of strength and willpower and it really talks about you know the willpower it takes this person to not come forward but there's such that fear here of those tower moments we have the tower twice so this could be a very a really strong caution from spirit that um that now is not the time to pursue this connection because of the fallout that it could cause. Um, but towers are also about, when we think about the tower, it's also about revelations internally. It's like aha moments. Like they don't have to be, you know, earthquakes and volcanoes coming into your life. It can be a huge revelation about feeling. It can be a revelation about, you know, the depth of this connection. So we have the tower twice here. So take that as it resonates. There's just a lot of fear represented with that tower, a fear of change, fear of shaking things up. And also, I do sense, you know, this person's grown up. They don't want anybody to get hurt. Sometimes those situations are impossible to deal with without hurting at least one person, unfortunately. Okay, group three, that is your reading on what are their true thoughts towards you versus their actions. 
Um, if you feel called to or if this resonated with you, please leave me a comment in the comment section if you have any suggestions or requests for videos. I am doing requests this week. Um, if you are interested, head over to Instagram. You still have time to enter my monthly free mini reading giveaway. I'll be announcing the winners on Wednesday, so you have until Tuesday evening at midnight to enter that. Um, otherwise, I do hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, guys.